Hey everyone, I'm going to work in the um, scavenger hunt book and I still haven't done the cover. I just haven't had the time. I'm kind of waiting for inspiration to hit me on what to do with the cover. So I made a zine, zine, whatever they're called. It's my very first one. And it says, what the what? I turned and folded till my fingers hurt. It's not working. I watched so many videos. Nope. But it's so easy, they all said. My floor is covered in papers. I failed. As the night grew late, I found the magic fold. I made my first and last zine, zine, whatever they're called. The end. I will admit, I am not a fan. <laughs> they're cute. I love them. You know, if you decorate them up and make a little book out of them. But I'm going to tell you what. This is probably the hardest thing I have made in the crafting. So let's see. What number is Make That Bad Boy? Um, 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 um. Sure, it's going to hide from me. I just know it is. It was hard for me. I guess, you know, a lot of people, here it is, number 70. So, number 70 is create a thingamajob. And it is going to go on page, because these are all dry now. Page, page, page 5. Nine. Let's see, what can I put on here for a background? Something spectacular because I made it. Um. No, what the heck, I'll just punch this little bad boy out. I'm just going to use it for a page background and stick it right there in the center. Just reaching down in my scrap box to get things out now. Move it down in here. And of course I smudge it. This on here. Ah, uh, should have put this one on my pink page, huh? Oh well, it's not like I have a shortage of pink. So, adios, little booklet. You're done. Okay. Um, this is my greeting card, and it's also my letter to myself. So it's number seven and number eighty. I still haven't done the introduction. This is my black and white page. And it's also my napkin page, my quote, and my stickers. And a book page. Um, this is the washi tape page. And everything on here is made out of washi and a marker. So I just put some grass, some little animals riding a bicycle, some people walking along the sidewalk that you can't see anymore. Cut a little yellow school bus out of washi tape. That's a school wedding, tell or not. Two houses, and this is also my glitter. So this is number 74 and 16, and I use glitter washi tape because anybody that knows Kathy knows I don't open the top on glitter for nobody. Um, this is the inked page and butterflies so far. I've got three numbers on there, so what is it? It says 55, 41, and 32. 55 is stencil and stencils because my clouds were made from stencils and here is like I said it's the 
greeting card and a note to myself and I'll decorate this page up some more. I started on number 28 which is the bags. It's a bag insert so I'm not sure what that means. Um, I've started on number one which is a page of swatches and I just did a set of colored pencils that I just got. These are the playing cards and I didn't number, put what number they were. I'll come back and do that later. But these are the playing cards. And it's Alice in Wonderland cards. Started my orange page and I'm just going to collage different orange stuff on it. Here's the zine zine. I don't know how you say that guys, I'm sorry. I don't make them, I don't know. Alright, next one is going to be the childhood... Uh, what was it? It's, let me turn it this way and then I can read it. Okay. Favorite toy from your childhood. It says childhood beside it in parentheses. So that is number 69. Yeah. And this is page number what, 10? Yeah. So this is one of my favorite toys from my childhood that I still have. And this little doll baby's name is Tommy. And this is my little grandson who has adopted Tommy. Hey, don't judge. He loves Tommy. He told me the last time he was here that I really do believe Tommy is real. And I have had Tommy in my cedar chest for years because back sometime in the 70s, early 80s, my great niece got a hold of him and broke his foot off. How that child managed to do that, I will never know. But, you know, Nicholas still doesn't know this doll doesn't have a foot because I have stuffed the... These are those little one-piece sleepers and I have stuffed it. So he thinks he has a foot. But when he was getting ready to have a um, baby brother, I brought Tommy back out because, needless to say, this child right here was the center of the universe. And, you know, everybody's just a little doll. And I was afraid he would have trouble adjusting to his little brother, which he has had. He really doesn't interact with his brother at all unless it's forced. But, um... I brought Tommy out and started, you know, playing with him with Nicholas. And before I knew it, Nicholas had the doll in his stroller and his little plastic shopping cart. And, you know, he would sit it down and if it would tip over, he would run and pick it up and hug it and say, Oh, are you okay? And give it a little kiss. It was the cutest thing in the world. I have so many memories of this child with this doll. Probably more than I had of with my childhood but he wasn't feeling well one day and when they're not feeling well they can't go to preschool so he came and spent the day with me and he says I need my best friend Tommy so I went in the bedroom and he stays on Nicholas's bed when he's not here to protect his bed and um, to make sure no monsters or nothing go in Nicholas's room and you know just the silly things you tell your grandchildren. So I went to the bedroom and I brought Tommy out. Well, all day long. It's, I don't want to take a nap. I'm not tired. I don't want to take a nap. I'm not tired. So I put Tommy down and he closed his little eyes. And Nicholas looks at me and he says, You know, Grandma, I really do believe that Tommy's real. <laughs> and I didn't know what to say. I said, well, honey, as long as he's real in your mind, that's all that matters. I didn't know what to, you know, how do you bust a four-year-old's bubble and say, nah, it's just a doll. So I'm not ready to do that yet. But he loves this doll. And this is Tommy. Let's see, it's his childhood, favorite childhood toy. And this doll was bought for me in 1959. Yes, I'm that old. But, um, he was one of my first dolls. And 
him a little red-headed cloth body doll that I still have her and her body's dry rotted and I covered her up too with a little onesie and she's got more tape on her than a football player's hands but um I still have her and she sits in a little chair in my bedroom but I printed it in black and white just because I'm not sure but I ordered some prints on canvas and I hope this is one of them if not I'm going to order this on canvas because one day he's going to have girlfriends and they'll be coming over for holiday dinners and I want to make sure she knows he played with doll babies <laughs> Hey, it just, he's just a sensitive, kind, gentle, loving little soul. So I think that's going to, I think he's going to be great as a man. Okay, what else was I going to work on? I have my tea bags here. Uh, what number is tea bags? Tea bags, tea bags. I wanted to put them with something. Oh, my safety pin's in another room. Draw your breakfast. 73. And where's the tea bags? And an envelope is 36. So I'm going to take 36. My fussy cut and stuff I have. I'm just going to use this envelope right now, so I'm going to have to get up and go get one. So this will be 36. And it's page 11. Draw your breakfast is going to be number, I just had it, seventy-three, page eleven, <coughs> excuse me, page eleven, and tea bags is here somewhere. <laughs> I probably should have written this down before I turned it on. Well, I know tea bags are in here, so I'll just come back and add the number to it. So I'm going to put this envelope on here, like so. I just covered it up, but I'll fix that. Okay, I've got two tea bags. Come on, I don't want to cut the whole bag up. because whew, it is so good oh my goodness it's so good this one is one of my favorites I'm in there and I love 
love these because they have little sayings on the back of it. it says compassion is a fountain of forgiveness so I'll put that so it's showing here and this one says your strength is your own knowledge put that one there and draw your breakfast is going to be so easy for me because what do I have for breakfast every day ah pencils okay I think I can do this without a eraser I'm just going to go ahead and try it So, what I have for breakfast every day is a cup of coffee or a cup of hot tea. I don't eat until I've been awake for several hours. So, there are three prompts on this page. Um, do I have anything else ready? Oh, something someone gave you. I wanted to do that one next. So this is page 11. Put this over here so you can see it. Page 12. And there's several things I'm going to put on this page as well. Something someone gave you. I am putting this page from Christy Biddleston here. And it says artwork from a fib, which to me is friend in a box and not necessarily a member of the fibs group. So I'm going to use this as that too. I don't know if Christy is a member of that group or not, but she is a friend and she is in the box, so I'm using this for that too. So here is her artwork. Here's something she gave me where she sent this beautiful yellow sticker. You know what? I'm not even going to try to peel it off because it'll take forever and a day. Oh no! <laughs> I'm just going to glue this one up this side. Man, these glue sticks go fast. Come on, Kathy, keep making a mess. Okay. I'm trying to use up all of these glue sticks. That's another reason I decided to do the scavenger hunt book. I won't ever buy these again. I just don't like them. Okay. If you do this fine, don't yell at me. Um, so no, page number 12 is... I have to find them. I'm going to have to make a coffee rings thing. Um, something to give them to you. So that's number 51. Um, I think it was over here. Probably wrong. I'll be looking in the wrong place, but let's see. I did number 69 already. Every time I see that used glitter, I cringe. Um. Hmm. 
Well, okay, I don't see the number now. I have to come back to it. But I'll add it when I find it. Wow. Okay. So, we have the something given to you in a friend's artwork. I have the tea bags and the envelope and my breakfast. I have this a book. <laughs> my name is trying to say it. And I have a long way to go on this. But I am enjoying it. Um, you know, as after I get everything on, I want to come back and decorate it up. Because I, you know, I don't leave things plain like this. But my favorite childhood toy. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Um, I will come back with some more stuff. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for a little bit if it sticks again. And um, maybe I'll come back and do the cover. I'm putting together some lives, so hopefully we'll start those up pretty soon. See you in a bit. Bye.